Hey guys, how you doing? Steph here. So do you need to learn C or C++ before you jump into Python or JavaScript? Short answer is no. So one of the urban myths, if you will, in software development, well, at least it's circulating in the YouTube world, is that somehow, some way you need to learn C or C++ to jump into other languages first. Why? Because they argue that if you learn C or C++, you understand the basics, the nuances of programming that you might not pick up in JavaScript. Short story is no, and the reason being is that C coding and C++ coding is a totally different animal than writing JavaScript or Python and many other higher level languages. It's just a different set of concerns. So for example, with C, C++, you have to be concerned about memory management and uh, typecasting and all this kind of stuff. Uh, very detailed work, which has advantages if you need very high performance code. Think uh, gaming engines, think uh, software for very small devices with, with weak CPUs and little memory. This is where C, C++ comes in handy. But the vast majority of programming these days, you don't need to use C or C++. You, you should be using higher level languages like Java and JavaScript, uh, Python, uh, PHP, etc cetera, etc cetera. why would you want to use higher level languages because there's no point these days for many apps to have to be concerned about the low level stuff the memory management stuff uh, that you would have to do with c or c plus plus it's a different beast so back to the original question do you need to learn c or c plus plus to be a better javascript programmer again not really because it's two different worlds it's two different worlds it's like saying, if you want to become a great carpenter, you should learn to grow trees. If you want to be a tree grower, go out and grow trees. If you want to write C code and C++ code and write those types of programs, then learn that type of coding. It's good coding. Don't get me wrong. And yes, the more programming languages you learn, the better a developer you're going to be, you're going to become because you're going to see how programming works in general as you learn more and more languages. But this is not something specific to C or C++. If you learn JavaScript, then you learn Python, then you learn Java, then you learn PHP, or whatever order, really. It's just going to be, make you a better coder. So for example, in C, in uh, JavaScript, in Python, in PHP, and several other languages, you, you have something called a function. And some languages will call methods, depending if they're in objects or not. That's another story. But anyway, you got this thing in programming called a function. We'll just use the word function uh, for, for lack of better terms. And uh, so this function has a certain capability, certain things that it can do, can't do. You have functions in many different languages. Of course, the way functions are done in Python will be a little bit different than the way they do it in uh, PHP, a little bit different than you do it in Perl, et cetera, and so on. But if you learn functions in Python, then you learn them in PHP, and then you learn them in JavaScript, your understanding of functions will just, become, will just become much better. That's because you'll be able to compare and contrast the different languages and make those decisions, uh, or make those distinctions, rather. It's kind of like learning how to drive a high-performance sports car driving manual. If you learn to drive a Porsche manual, and then you learn to drive a Lamborghini manual, then you learn to drive an old Audi manual, your understanding of manual driving and shifting gears and clutches, and you, you're gonna become much more uh, sensitive and you have a much better understanding of that whole process by having driven several cars uh, you know, in manual. That's just a fact of life. There's nothing special, going back to programming, there's nothing special uh, inherent in learning C or C++ that's going to make you a better JavaScript programmer than if you perhaps learned Python beforehand or, or, or afterwards. These are just tools, and you use the right tools for the right job. If you're writing certain types of software, you're going to use C or C++. If you're writing certain types of software, a different type of software, you're going to write this in JavaScript or PHP or Rails, not Rails, or Ruby, whatever what have you. It really depends on what you're doing. So there you go. There you go. I hope I dispelled that myth. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't know, I've been coding for decades now. So everything I teach here is based on real world experience, not from a video I saw on YouTube. This video is sponsored by me. If you want to learn how to code, check the links below. I have my foundation courses, interactive training, 
tons of quiz questions, tons of video lessons, instant feedback, instant help, unique in the industry as SaaS software that I developed from scratch a decade ago. It's used by schools all over the world. If you want to up your game as a programmer and you know how to code already, you should check out a couple of books below. I link below one on refactoring. There's one on Java and there's another one on JavaScript and another book on design patterns. That's how you're going to up your game. That's how you're going to level up your game by getting those two books and learning what's in those books. Much more important than taking a tutorial or learning a, another language. If you know how to program already, if you know how to code already, this is, these are books I suggest will level, level up your game. And if you're a total beginner and you're watching this video, you can check out my own book besides my studio web courses. I have my own book if you prefer books on the basics of coding, web design, and specific HTML5, CSS3, and everything around all that technology. All right, thanks for watching, bye.